Hello everybody, it's that ginger kid and welcome to Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. I this isn't gonna be a regular let's play because I've actually been playing this quite a while and I'm pretty decent at the game by now and most of the comedy from my let's play series tends to be me not knowing what I'm doing or just doing things badly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly explain some of the things that I was looking for when I first found the game that I couldn't find on a cursory Google search, so uh, I figured I'd make a little video about it. Uh, the first being how to unlock characters. Now, to do that, you have to select Insult Your CPU and go to a tournament. Now, you'll see here I have Geisha, Father, Sirius Sam, Lo Wang, and Nigel H all unlocked. And the way you do that is you'll start out with the three base characters and you'll play them through the tournament. And once they complete the tournament, usually each one will unlock one new character. Father is a little bit tricky. I'm not 100% sure what exactly triggers the unlock, but basically if you just keep playing through the tournament as every character that you've unlocked that hasn't already defeated it, eventually you will unlock Father, which is uh, a Morgan Freeman impersonator playing the role of God with a big gold crown and stuff like that. Serious Sam, however, isn't unlocked from what I've seen through the single player process and is instead unlocked through multiplayer. If you're not the type to really play the single player and you just want to dive right into the multiplayer, you might be a little bit ill prepared when you encounter some of these new characters. So what I'll go through quickly is the weaknesses that each of these unlockable character has. Grisha is weak to anything that involves Russia or place of origin. So terms like the communists was born in your country or anything like that as well as the finishing line, you commoner, always get to them. So those are always the best ones to use if you're trying to take them out, and the best ones to take from your opponents if you're playing as him. Nigel H is weak against anything that has to do with his appearance or weight. And as we know, it doesn't have to be directed at him. You could say your sister is getting fat, or your wife is dull and ugly. Anything like that, that implies his appearance is not good. Using the starting line, your face, almost always works. So those are always ones to use when you're going up against somebody playing Nigel H and you want to do as much pride damage as possible. Lo Wang, who you might recognize from the Shadow Warrior series, he is weak against anything that implies he's weak, which means was defeated by things like a frightened schoolboy or other terms along those lines are what will be most effective against him. And I haven't noticed too many more, but to be fair, I haven't played against many people playing as Lo Wang. Serious Sam, who's unlocked through playing the multiplayer again, or at least that's how I unlocked him, is weak against anything that's too serious. Terms like the Nazis, or has bum cancer, or makes jokes at funerals are what definitely get to him. Now Father, who you'll face for the first time, the first time you play the tournament, has two health bars, which means that he's automatically got a bit of a head start, but he has a massive weakness, which is anything related to family, which means terms like your husband, your wife, your sister, your beloved auntie, your mother, your father, your son, any of those can work really well against him. And a lot of those are very common, so it's easy to combo them up by saying something like, your husband was your son and your father smells of elderberries. Those type of things will take off huge amounts of his health in a huge hurry and uh, allow you to win the fight, even though it seems particularly daunting. As always, whether facing CPU or online enemies or friends or anything like that, you want to be looking at this kind of like a priority list in that if you have something that you've been comboing, always take that, especially if you've already gotten it twice in a row because the times three and times fours do massive amounts of damage. If you can't find something you've been comboing, look for your opponent's weakness. Like with Shuffle Bottom, it's his sense of style. Maggie, it's age and death. Sir Knight, it's anything that implies he doesn't keep up with the modern times. But if you can't find either of those, either your combo or your your opponent's weakness, then the next thing you want to look for is the terms that your opponent has been using on you. It's always a hugely important idea to try and break your opponent's combo. If they're sitting there saying your father and they've said it 
even just once and you notice it's there and available, you'll want to try and steal it to avoid letting them do more damage to you. Now the ellipsis is one of those things that can be used for a multitude of reasons, one being you back yourself into a corner like saying looks like and then the opponent takes the only remaining subject and you can't get one by drinking your tea. So in that case you'll want to use the ellipsis and hope that your opponent doesn't manage to knock you out by doing a rude insult that does more than 15 damage. The other opportunity to use the ellipsis is when your opponent flubs an insult. This is the best possible time to use that. If they accidentally screw up, it happens more often with human characters it seems than CP you characters because they get ahead of themselves and miss the fact that you've stolen the term they need or stuff like that. If they screw it up, that means that turn is basically free for you, so why not use the ellipsis? You know you're not going to lose the first half of your insult, and you can make more complex and more damaging insults by following along with that and carrying it into the next turn. The last and final reason to use it is when you know your opponent's attack is not going to do very much damage to you. Like if they have a very simple insult, this happens more often with CPU opponents than with multiplayer opponents, but it can happen even in multiplayer. So when they use something that say, like your sister is getting fat and they end it there, whether that be a mistake or a CPU opponent that's obviously set to an easier difficulty or just somebody who has no idea how they're playing that just hops right into the multiplayer, that's your opportunity again if the ellipsis is available, to use it, carry your insult to the next turn because you know that insult won't do enough damage to knock the first half of your conversation away. Now when you see that your opponent has used the ellipsis, you're given as much time as you need to use any of the remaining terms both in your hand and on the board to create as much of an insult as you can. Now this is your opportunity because if you can do more than 15 damage, you knock out the first half of their insult, meaning they've just wasted that turn. On the same hand, if you're about to use an ellipsis, you'll want to mouse over your opponent's speech bubble to make sure that there's nothing in there that might hit you really hard. Now you're looking for their things that they've comboed, things that are your weakness. You want to avoid letting them use that because if you use the ellipsis at the wrong time, again, you waste your turn. You've completely lost that first half of the insult and especially if you were trying to combo with some super strong stuff like using your opponent's weaknesses or combos or combining those two to make a really strong insult and you just wanted to make it a little bit longer, it might be better just to end your turn, say the insult, and continue on than risk losing it to a particularly strong insult from your opponent. If you're planning on starting right away into the multiplayer, then one of your best solutions is to actually play the tournaments and unlock as many of the unlockable characters as possible before you launch into multiplayer. The reason for this being that when you're facing up against other starting players, which I'm not sure how the matchmaking works, but it did seem like when I first started I was fighting against people who were also just starting. Those people are less likely to have information or understanding of how the unlockable characters work and how they are weak against certain terminology. I for instance played the multiplayer before I played the single player and thought Lo Wang was just extremely powerful for some reason, and in fact the first time I encountered Father aka Morgan Freeman as God, I was completely astounded by the fact that somehow it was fair for this opponent to have two life bars because I wasn't able to immediately discern that his massive weakness to anything family related was an easy way to chain massive combos against him. That said, unlocking the bonus characters can really help start you off in multiplayer. Of course, as you get higher up tiers, you're definitely going to face opponents that have not only played against these characters, but have crafted their own little strategies and ways to defeat them. So don't rely too much on the ignorance of your opponent and make sure you're practicing as best you can to spot your weaknesses, remove them from the equation, take advantage of your opponent's weaknesses, and chain those combos. If you do this, you're definitely going to have a lot more success than you have failure, and you are going to have a damn fine time playing Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been That Ginger Kid. This is a new thing for me, so if you like this little tips and tricks kind of thing, let me know and I'll be sure to do something else like this in the future. Obey the beard and subscribe and I will see you next time.